Mukamwafe Yesu Christi Abazibwe. Praise the name Jesus Christ. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for the grace you have given to us today. We thank you for the good moments you have given us today. We thank you for the breath we are taking in every day because of your grace. Members online, I welcome you once again. I thank you for this opportunity. I thank you for uh, giving in your time and listening to the word of God. When God gives you a word, he gives you people to listen, people who will act to that word. I thank Holy Spirit for this moment that these are the people you have given to me today to listen to your word. Today we are having our word from word of God from Ephesians 2. Ephesians chapter 2. Yes, we are starting from verses 1. In Jesus Christ, my dear. Paul writes that Ephesians, these uncircumcised people, that in the, in the past you were spiritually dead. I say to you, my brother and sister, that in the, in the past you were spiritually dead because of your disobedience and sin. At that time, you followed your own, the world's evil way. You followed the world's evil way. You obeyed the ruler of the spiritual power. In space, Satan. The spirit who now controls the people who disobey God. Whenever you don't obey the spirit of Jesus Christ, you are obeying the spirit who controls people who disobey God. Actually, All of us were like them and lived according to our natural desires. We lived according to our natural desires because whatever suited and the wishes of our own bodies and minds in our natural conditions We, like anyone else, we are destined to suffer God's anger. Holy Family Ministries. But God is mercy. He's so abundant. And his love for us is so great. He who has taken Jesus Christ to be our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ is saying that, but God's mercy is so abundant, and his love for us is so great, that while we are spiritually dead in our disobedience, he brought us to life with Christ. He brought us to life with Christ. It is by God's grace that you have been saved. So that we don't die. In our union with Christ, Jesus, he raised us up with him to rule with him in the heavenly world. We are here to rule. A ruler has everything, has power, has authority. So we are here. Because of God's abundant mercy, 
that we may rule the world. In Jesus Christ, my name I pray. My brothers and sisters, today, Jesus Christ is reminding us that we are once dead before we got saved. Being saved is delivering you from that evil power. And now this same mercy is still around. Please don't blame yourself that I did this, I did this. Yes, you were dead. But now Jesus Christ is saying, ah, my mercy is abundant. My mercy is abundant. Thus says the Lord, Jesus Christ. Stop blaming yourself. We have all sinned. We have killed. We have aborted. We have abused neighbor. We have stolen. We have bribed and we have been bribed. But Jesus Christ, my child, don't blame yourself. My mercy is abundant. My brother outside there, don't blame yourself. His mercy is abundant and is here. Don't blame yourself. Jesus Christ wants to save you freely, freely, freely. He wants to touch that point of need freely, freely, freely. He wants to see you get rich freely, freely, freely. He wants to see you giving birth to life-kicking children, lively children. Freely, freely, freely. So Jesus Christ is here and wants to give you everything freely. Accept him. Allow him to take off your life. He wants your life. He wants to see you rich. God giving you does not give according to the way you behaved. He gives because of his mercy. There's nothing you can do, my dear brothers. You can, there's nothing you can do to please God. So accept his free flowing mercy. Accept his mercy. And his mercy is just right here. In Jesus Christ, mighty name. May I pray with you in Jesus Christ, mighty name. Say that I can see you be set free. I can see you be rich. I can see you have life in its abundance. Let us just tap, just tap into his mercy, into his grace. When I call everyone to tap into Jesus' grace, there is no Christian who is not ready. As many of you say, No, everybody, God gives according to his mercy, not because you, have, you, are, you are ready. Some of us, we are chosen not because we are ready, not because we are the most pure people, but because of God's mercy. God gave us because we could stand the abuses. We could stand the nicknames, the name callings. But not because you have done anything. And He's giving this grace to stand the name callings. He's giving this grace because of you, because of what you are carrying. And He puts me as a pipe between you and me. I am the mouthpiece of the Lord Jesus Christ. The hand of the Lord Jesus Christ. The face of the Lord Jesus Christ. So let us tap into this anointing. Yes, Lord Jesus Christ, I thank you. You have hidden these secrets from the great and the land, from the rich and the educated. And you have, give, and you have given them to us, the born again children of your holy family ministries. 
Yes, this is the way you wanted it to be. Chitu fama zima boti wa wayagala. Nga polo wa tugambi ya mbalo wa He has told us that let us just stop. His mercy is abundant. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. Anything you are praying for, his mass is abundant. Just raise up your hand and let it flow unto you. In Jesus Christ, mighty name. Don't blame yourself. His mass is abundant. Yes, you have killed, you have destroyed so many things God has created. You have annoyed him knowingly and unknowingly. Yes, receive and tap into his mercy. In Jesus Christ, mighty name. Tap in, into his mercy. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. Receive the word of the Lord Jesus Christ. Receive the wealth. Receive the love. Receive in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Those of you who have been looking for marriage, in Jesus Christ's mighty name, I'm here to let you know that just tap into, into this anointing. Tap into his mercy. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. You just say, I tap into the mass of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, he's here to give you everything he has died for. He has lived for and died for. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. And Paul is telling us, is telling, is telling us to live for the sin so that you can die for it. Receive the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. Those of you having sickness, as I wave this hand down, in Jesus Christ's mighty name, I touch that sickness, I touch that sickness, I touch that corona to leave you, I touch that Ebola to leave you, I touch that cancer to leave you, to leave you the cross of the Lord Jesus Christ. You cancer come out of my children, in Jesus Christ's mighty name. You see, yes, come out, come out. Yes, in Jesus Christ's mighty name. I come in power and authority in Jesus Christ's mighty name. I've been given this mercy such that I can talk to you and things happen in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Not because I've done something, not because I've gone under the waters, not because I have a lot of money, not because I'm the purest. No, it's because of the grace. It's because of the mass of the Lord Jesus Christ. This same mercy you have, this same mercy you have, in Jesus Christ, mighty name, you still have the same mercy. Receive in Jesus Christ, mighty name. Anything you are praying for, I come in the power and authority to give you in Jesus Christ, mighty name. I've been told that whatever I proclaim, thus thou shalt get. Yes, receive. Yes, receive. In Jesus Christ, mighty name, I pray. Is there any of you who is sick? As James says, let the elders of the church raise their hands and touch him. He'll be set free. And says that that prayer that is full of faith, that prayer that is full of faith will heal that sick. That prayer that is full of faith, faith will heal that sick. I set you free in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Agnes, be free with your business in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Yes, I say, man, be free in Jesus Christ, mighty name. Be free in Jesus Christ, mighty name. Receive your freedom. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I have prayed. Bonica and Bonita, receive that healing in Jesus Christ, mighty name. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. This mass is still available. It's abandoned until the end of the world. Let us just make a move and move into and make a move and go into, go into, go into that anointing. In Jesus Christ's mighty name we are prayed. It's up to you to move into this mass. It's abandoned. It's a lot. Yes, I thank you, Holy Spirit, for this moment. I thank you have allowed us to pray together. I thank you have been here with your seven archangels, those we know and those we don't know. Let each and every prayer of my children be received by them. Prayer requests be received in Jesus Christ's mighty name. At the end of this season, may we see testimonies 
because of your abundant mercy. Lord Jesus Christ, we have died with you. Let us resurrect with you. Thank you.